quick tutorial on um, one of my favorite hairstyles to do with my locks, which is the faux hawk with flat twists. So what I do first is I kind of, you know, find you just kind of have to like think about um, how much hair you want kind of like in the middle section like this and then just kind of divide it like this and then flat twist each side. So I usually like about this much uh, on my hair. Um, so I'll just kind of like leave it separate or I'll just kind of like eyeball it um, and then I will take a roll and I just kind of use my fingers it's, it's so like not technical um, just kind of use my fingers to make a roll and then I tie up the rest otherwise it's gonna interfere with what I'm trying to do back there so I tie up the rest like that and you know you may you may want to learn how to flat twist i didn't know how to flat twist before i started this um and so i just kind of learned and uh i just kind of taught myself and you just basically take two sections and just kind of roll them and just grab the hair as you're going and keep going all the way to the back and just keep grabbing the hair as you go. I usually leave my back locks just kind of out because they're short and fragile and they're edges and I don't want to stress them. So actually, usually when I get to the end, I will braid it. I don't two strand twist it at the end. I braid it and it just gives it like a tighter, uh, neater look to me anyway. You know, it's up to you if you want to double strand twist or braid it, but I usually braid it at the end. And so I'll braid it and I'll do that. Usually usually I get to have two flat twists on each side um, of my loose of the, the locks that I, that I leave loose. And so it'll be kind of something like this and then I'll undo this and kind of maybe you get like four rows of locks. Yeah, and that will give me the amount that I want loose in the middle. And again, using the fingers, nothing technical. I don't even look at the back, I just kind of feel around. And then tie. And then do it again. And grab the hair as you go and just kind of over and under. And I, I'm, I know that there are a lot of tutorials um, on YouTube or anywhere um, on how to flat twist if you know, don't know how to flat twist. Um, and you can also do cornrows. If you know how to cornrow your hair, you can also do that um, on each side. I like the look. Uh, I like the flat twist look and that's why I always do the flat twist. So again, I get to the end and I braid. I have this one rogue lock. I, think, I don't think you can see it here, but there is one lock that is just super long, and it's hilarious. I just like to, I just likes to do what it what it wants to do. And again, braiding. I'm doing a really quick job here. On to the other side, so same thing here. I'll grab maybe like three rows. Again, literally just my fingers and feeling around, tying it up so it doesn't get mixed up. I'll leave this little guy here because he's fragile. Grab the hair as you go. Like I said, when I get to the end, I braid.
last guy. I usually do like four rows, so let's see. That's four right there, just about. And just kind of like eyeball it to make sure it's gonna like symmetrical, you know? And then you can just grab, see this is three. No, we'll do four. We did three and four on the other side, so let's keep it consistent. I personally don't like too much hair hanging out in the back for the full hawk and so I kind of like you know try to grab as much hair as I can back there Ooh, I think this was five rows it still looks okay though Okay, we get to the end and I braid. See, sometimes you'll find one rogue, one rogue uh, lock that you left out. And sometimes you have to go back and take it out and make sure that it goes in. I will not do that here. But it happens. What I like to do a lot of times after I'm done is um, I'll use like a little one of those small black rubber bands and kind of tie them all together like that in the back and kind of tuck it in um, and then you just kind of let this part out and here you go is your lock full hog super cute. I love it. It just gets kind of like an edgy, but like, I don't know, still kind of professional look. Um, so let me show you what, we'll see what it looks like in the back. I hope it looks okay. I'm going to tie it up with my hair tie. Usually I use those small black rubber bands, but I'll use my hair tie today. Just so we can have, we can see. So. That's one side, and that's the other side. I kind of like it like a little bit like kind of like messy, so that's you know that's also up to you. So that's that, and then let's look what the back looks like. You got some little wink here. Let's see if we can get them out. Yep. And that's that. Um, it literally takes five minutes. Uh, quick hairstyle. I love it. I think it's super fashionable and super cute. Thanks.